Hey y'all, good morning. Hope everything is well and hope all is well. Um, please remember to um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I have a lot of shares and a lot of love for the last couple of days um, that YouTube can't even calculate it on time, I guess. I don't know because they still on day um, like four days from now. So I guess they're calculating it up. I don't know. Anyway, um, my topic of the day is uh, women that like to put pressure on other women's uh, relationship. Um, you see a woman out, she with her man, and they f seem happy. And in your mind, you want to get his attention and make her feel like crap. I mean, for you to do something like that, you're a bully. Um, you're a hurt bully. Um, and you don't believe in men. And this is probably why you're doing this. Because you want her to be hurt because you are. And just because you don't believe in men, you want to show her she shouldn't believe in men. But it's not your duty to do that, sis. You've got to calm that down. I mean, you have to be a bully to want to hurt somebody. And your as soon as you uh, are saw, like somebody see you, put it that way. Um, I'm not editing. Um, as soon as somebody see you, you want to put in your mind, I'm finna take her man. I'm finna walk past her millions of times. I'm finna be loud so he can see me and they just ain't gonna have no good time because I can't have no man. She not finna have no man and nobody finna have no man. We finna expose these men. So men, and I'm telling you this because like I tell y'all all the time, I've been them all, all the females, all the men, and, and it's not a good thing. And what only you can do is ignore them, you know, make sure you turn your back to them because this is not only, you know, directed towards her, it's directed towards you. Women don't believe in y'all no more. So they do everything to expose y'all. And so all you have to do is you see it, you hear it, and you turn your back to it and you give your woman the light. Hug her, kiss her, show her love to so much that where that woman don't even want to stay around. And your woman is going to be so grateful. And you're not going to only restore your woman, but you're going to restore that woman that don't believe that man, good man exists. You know, and I, like I said, you know, to hurt someone. Man, because I was a bully and, um middle school and and it was because I was hurt you know my mom passed I hated anybody who had a mom you know and I was just so mean to everybody you know um and so it, it wasn't a good thing I was so I was so evil every morning I was just evil and and now to this day these the females that knew how much I fought um they always say Man, you were so mean looking all the time, you know, and, and I never had a good time with that life, you know, just bullying people and making people feel like crap. You know, I felt good at the moment because I felt tough and I felt superior and I felt like over them. But really inside, it never helped because I kept bullying and bullying and bullying everybody else. And it just it just didn't work, you know. And um, I remember when I stopped, I just, I got into it with this girl and um, she hit me and I could, I didn't even, I couldn't believe she hit me for the first time after I bullied her so many times. And I just looked at her and then I let her tell the, the, the people, but I was just like so humiliated that she hit me and I didn't do nothing because I was so shocked that she did hit me. And I just like, okay, of course, I had to fight her after that just to make people know that, you know, but I still didn't feel good. I still didn't feel good about it. And you shouldn't either. You should never feel like you're going to make a female feel some type of way when her husband or her man is around. You should say, okay, I know that I got a lot of body. I'm going to sit down. Only time I'm going to get up if I really have to use the bathroom, you know, and just don't be on that. 
And if you're not, if you're not intentionally thinking like that, then you can move around freely. But if you know you got the type of spirit on you that is trying to be seen and try to be loud, sit it down or leave it. Leave it. Because whatever you do in that situation, it's going to come back to you. You're going to feel it. And it's going to reflect from that time. Like you're going to remember all the times you did it to other people. And it's going to happen to you. And most likely it already happened to you. That's why you're doing it. Because somebody hurts you and you want to make sure somebody else is get the same treatment you got. And you don't want nobody to have a good man because you can't have one. That's not nice. You got to let people have theirs. You know, a lot of people that don't want stuff for people. And, and some people just got a natural light on them that they are such good people that good stuff happens to them all the time. And you don't have that light. It's time for you to get one. You, it's time for you to grab one. Start now being good and gracious and, and, and pure and sweet. No matter what happened to you in life, get some counseling. So you can be a great person. You can wake up and think good thoughts instead of thinking negative about men all the time. Men, restore these women. Stop making a uh, a deal out of women who got shapes. You're going to see a million of them. They're going to be everywhere all the time. At least once a month, you're going to see a woman with a shape, so it ain't no big deal. As soon as you think in your mind that shapes are overrated, Things are going to change for you. It's just flesh. It's just fat, you know, in the parts. It's, it just sometimes it, it looks so amazing that it's like, well, how did they get their body part like that? She don't even know how she got it like that. God just gave it to her, you know, and, and it's good. You know, if you want to stay in that lustful type of feeling and, and, you know, we know women are beautiful. We know that. It's a physical attraction. We also have a physical attraction to y'all, but we don't do all that. We don't have to. You know, most women, if they do that, it's because they're lonely and they, they can't get nobody, so they throw themselves. But them is the ones that you don't want. Just like you don't want them, we don't want y'all if y'all do that. But we, all, we will want y'all if y'all got somebody else. We always want to take you from your female. You know, but once we get you, we don't even respect you. We respect the men that don't give us no fucks with. Like, don't pay no attention to us. I love a man that don't even look at me, and I know I'm cold. You know, despite what everybody think. I I know I'm cold. I can pull the best of them, okay? So, man, just, 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 uh, Restore these women because these women are really out here bad and they really think that their body is everything and they using y'all for their body. You can't even have a conversation with a female without them say how much money you got in this, this because my body bad. Girl, that ain't enough. You know, men are sapiosexuals anyway and don't know it. Most of them. They want somebody who's going to challenge their mind and, 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 you know the shape is going to get them, but it ain't going to keep them. And I know that for sure, you know, because I got the mind and the body. So I was always ready, able to get them and keep them, okay? So, yeah, y'all just y'all just um, do something different. It's time to make people um, relationship last. And if you can help them, you know, help them. If you know that you got a big, nice body, I never, never, never get up when I, when, unless I absolutely have to. And if I could uh, go the direction where that man can't see me, and, and I will do that. Unless I absolutely have to, I will not keep getting up and, and, and you know, and trying to put pressure on a female. I'm not going to do that because uh, I don't like how, how it felt when people did it to me and I just don't like how, you know, the woman feel because I've done it too. I don't like how the woman feels when, or the argument that happens after is done, you know, it, it can mess up their whole date. And it's not that 
you know, you insecure and stuff, but some women are out here with these men that do do disrespectful stuff and they be staring and looking and acting crazy while they with them, you know. And that's another thing. You have to find a man that don't do that to you. That know how to see the shape, look at it, and then keep it moving. You know, it's okay to look. I'm not saying at all that it's not okay to look. Because it's okay to look at them. Because you got eyes, you're going to see it. You know, we both going to look. But when you see it, get a great look. Look long enough. Just so you don't have to look at it. You have it in your mind. Then you don't have to go back and look at it. Just so you can be respectful. Because it's just not cool for a man to just keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. It's just not, you know. And it's not cool for a female to be so loud and so trying to be looked. Trying to be in the direct eyesight of the man. It's just silly. It's silly. And it's hard for men to not look when it's a lot, you know. But there is men who can do it. And and I applaud these men. I applaud you men that can that can hold your arm and say, okay, this is a body. It's going to be plenty of them. I would never dare disrespect my woman like that. Take that woman head hand and you just talk to her and focus on her and have a good day. And once you do it once and you can master it once, you're going to be able to do it all the time. And it's going to be so easy. It's going to be so easy to turn them down. And believe me, the more you do that, when that other woman see you again, she's going to always try to get you because she can't believe it. She's going to always test you every time she see you. And they it's crazy what they'll do when you don't pay attention to them. For real. It, it's crazy what women will do if you don't pay attention to them. I'm getting ready for work, y'all. I'm trying to fix my eyebrows because y'all know my eyebrows be messed up. You know, I'm just exposing it. You know, I'm exposing me and I'm exposing other people. I mean, it's everybody is so scared to... Be real. But we already know what this is, and we already know how it is. You know what I'm saying? We already know how it really is. So I'm just putting it out here for the men so y'all can know, and y'all can heal us women, and we can heal ourselves. And it's time to, to get to the bottom of this stuff because nobody wants to be called insecure. Who gives a damn? You know? I don't know, y'all. Y'all don't know me. And y'all might one day when I start getting interviews. But I mean, I don't care. The worst thing that, that could be said about me, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what's wrong with me. Yeah? I'm telling you what's wrong with women. A lot of them. Some of them don't care. And they, you know, they got like a, a different color side to them. So they're not pure like black. But most black women have these issues. We don't have issues like this with our friends because my friends, all of them got bad shapes. But that's because I trust them. You know what I'm saying? I always have people around like that. I'm not saying that you can't have a bad shape and be around. It's just how you act. You know, A lot of females, when they see a man, they'll change their voice, trying to act all cute and stuff. Let them meet your dude and they want to act, you know, they don't talk like that. You're like, girl, why are you talking like that? You don't talk like that. I bust their ass out if they do that to me. Lucky people know how I am, so they wouldn't do that to me. Now, just don't do nothing flaw around me because I'm going to say something. I don't care about being called insecure. Insecure means unsure. And if I'm unsure about your ass, huh? I pass, okay? You know, that's just how it is. But um, I hope I helped you men learn women a little bit better. You know, some of them is, is not exactly like me. They're a little bit different. And that's okay. But majority of the women who have the problems um, with you is, is thinking like me. I tell you all the time, the only thing that a woman can be mad at you about is another woman or somebody who she think is going to take her place. Like jealousy. Jealousy is only um, directed to 
the people or the object that you think that's taking your place. You know, that's all, all jealousy is. And it could be your boys. It could be anybody who she thinks that's taking you from her and making you cheat or or disrespect her. You know, she ain't going to allow it. She ain't going to like it. Y'all going to always uh, crash out about it. So, you know, it's just easy, simple things. Start uh, kicking it with people who got families that respect their women. If you're in a relationship, you should be uh, having friends that, that respect your woman and respect their own. Don't be having secret conversations uh, with this guy. And, and I mean, it's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow, but sometimes you're going to have to tell him, hey, I can't, I don't want to be cool like that no more with you because, you know, you don't respect my lady and I'm on doing right. And some of y'all got to learn how to be men. You know, I could be your friend, but um, when you come over here, I don't want to talk about no other women. I want to talk about my woman only. Don't do that on your own time. I, I'm You can't test me like that. You know, when you let a man talk about another woman in front of your woman, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or in your house, you know, just think if her friends was over your house and she was talking to uh, your friends, your her friends about another man that she wanted bone or she like his thing or, Whatever, that's mad disrespect. And you pop up in the room and you hear it. And you hear it on the room next door. And she just going to town and, she, and you know. And, and you provide, the you paying the bills and provide her a room, you know, a place to stay and whatever. Or y'all going half on it. That's just putting the devil in your house. I call anything that's hurting your relationship putting the devil in your house. You can't be doing that, you know. So it's the same thing, you know. Listen, man, please don't send this to my my phone. Don't send this. To, you know, I'm trying to do right, and and anybody who really care about you wants you to do right. But most men don't think they can do right, so they gonna be trying to try you. Like, oh, this dude ain't he playing? He think he in love. Let me send him this picture. Let me talk about his ex. Let me do this. Let me do that. You know, so. Just, just, um, y'all stop being bullies out there. You women stop trying to put pressure on, on beautiful relationships and let them have their relationships and don't be the reason why they break up or argue. And men, you don't be the reason why your best friend or whoever you love, if you say you really want them to be happy, let them be happy. If you don't really want them to be happy and you're doing this stuff, then that means you hating on them, literally, because you cannot find a good relationship. So because you toxic and you messed up inside, you don't want your boy to be happy. If he say he happy and he loved this woman, let him love it and pour into him to be the best man he can. If you out with him, I did a video on this. If you out with him and you um and he trying to mess up, tell him, hey, man, I ain't go to your wedding for all this for you to be breaking up with your wife. This girl is, 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 um, they're going to be around all the time. If you need to get your, get your rocks off in your car, um, without this woman, go ahead and do that. Because once you, you know, let it release, you ain't going to have a desire for this woman no more, man. So just, just chill out or wait for your wife, man. We going in this bar. We, you not messing with this female. We going in this bar and, and you're not going to mess with this female on my time. Y'all, it's time to be them type of brothers. It's time to be them type of sisters that stop cheating on your man, you know, because in my my circle, we don't we don't cheat on our men. And if we do, if anybody do in there, we don't know about it, because if I find out that you cheating on your man, it's going to be a problem. If you my friend, especially if you got a good man, and most likely all my women have good men because I wouldn't be friends with them. Because if, if a, a black woman is not poured into and she ain't she ain't happy and she don't love that man just as much as she love herself and she don't talk about him every time we together, then she she not he not a good man. So I don't have friends that don't have good men. Um so we all all equally have good men and um you know, everybody has faults. 
And so they're not perfect, but they good men. And that's where the, that's the start of it. You know, somebody got to believe in them. Why not you? You know, somebody got to be willing to go through something with somebody. You know, they struggles is not my struggles of my men. What they men have problems with, my men don't have problems with and vice versa. So, you know, you got to pick the man that you can you can go through that storm with. You got to pick the man who who fits you and who you willing to. OK, I can deal with that. OK, I'm strong enough for that. You know, some people are stronger than others and they can deal with way more than others. So, you know, pick your battle. That's all I'm saying. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I got to go to work now. But remember to sip it slow. All right.